In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Happy Independence Day, my friends. Uh, on this day in which we celebrate our independence, may we also celebrate our dependence on God, certainly. Without him, we can do nothing. With him, we can do anything. So uh, certainly that is a happy dependence to have. So we have that today. Today is also the feast day of Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati, who is one of the patrons of Catholic youth, a wonderful person. I encourage you to read about him today if you have uh, a chance. Pierre, P-I-E-R, Giorgio Frassati. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. God of justice, Father of truth, who guide creation in wisdom and goodness to fulfillment in Christ your Son, Open our hearts to the truth of his gospel, that your peace may rule in our hearts and your justice guide our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, on that day I will raise up the fallen hut of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom and all the nations that shall bear my name, say I, the Lord, who will do this. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the vintager, him who sows the seed, the juice of grapes shall drip down from the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people, Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them, say I, the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what, the God, what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him in salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks <clears throat> of peace to his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? 
The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak, and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wineskins, otherwise the skins burst. The wine spills out and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wineskins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, most uh, holiday weekends are chances to meet up with old friends, especially those we haven't seen since they moved out of town, uh, since they're often back to visit with their relatives. This weekend usually is no exception. A few years ago, some friends and I met up with a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in uh, almost 30 years. She looked great, looked different. Uh, In my head, she still had two uh, ponytails like Marsha Brady, and uh, I remember her wearing a denim pantsuit with rhinestone appliques. Of course, you'll probably guess I grew up in the 70s. Um, (laughs) But I was chatting with her, and she was talking about uh, her husband and uh, trying to get everything done before they were going on vacation. She said, but if I know my husband, he'll bring his laptop with him. Uh, My friends, I was thinking about this a lot, (laughs) about how we never really take time just to be with people. Uh, we always have something with us. Uh, if we were having a 4th of July parade uh, in Stoughton, which we are not this year, but if we were, I guarantee you, I walked the whole route with our float, that I would see people on their computers at some point, or maybe not even watching the parade because they're inside on the computers doing work. Now, many of us can sort of judge them and say, I wouldn't do that, but Most of us carry a computer with us all the time, which is our phone. (laughs) And you see people looking at that all the time, my friends. I was waiting. I was on my day off in Providence, and I was walking down the street, and there was a restaurant that was giving people food. They would call ahead, and then give people food, and then they would put it on a table. So in other words, they would walk by, and they would pick it up at a certain time so that it was um, hands-free, so to speak. There were maybe, I don't know, seven or eight people outside of this restaurant, and not a single one was just looking around, not a single one was greeting people, not a single one was just had his eyes closed, maybe meditating. Every single one of them on their phone. I was helping a couple uh, prepare them for marriage, and I said, are you looking forward to your honeymoon? And the wife said, yes especially since I forbid my husband to bring his computer. (laughs) He was going to bring his computer on the honeymoon. Okay, my friends, you get the idea. My friends, Jesus, when he sent out his disciples, he sent them out to bring the good news and told them to take nothing with them. He says, no money bag, no sack, not even your shoes. If it were today, He would say, no money bag, no wallet, no purse, uh, no sack, not your shoes, just wear sandals, definitely no cell phone. (laughs) He says, the whole idea behind this, my friends, is to rely on God. I mentioned at the beginning of this Mass that today is Independence Day, but the truth is we are incredibly dependent on God. And this day can be a reminder to us, while we do celebrate our independence, my friends, that is a responsibility, not just a gift. We have to use it in a wise way. And we have to always be remembered, always remember that we are ultimately totally dependent on God. One of our favorite hymns is God Bless America. Well, that is certainly one that should be sung today. Today is a day when we should turn everything off, (laughs) thank God for the freedom and gifts that we have, Ask him to strengthen us in our work for true justice in this world, and especially in our country, and to just be, just be. God bless America. God bless us. Unite in our desire to grow closer to God, the source of all that is good. We bring our prayers to him. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our Bishop Sean. 
We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, and we pray that we will foster these vocations in our homes and in our families. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our military men and women, all of those who put themselves in harm's way to protect the freedoms that we have to help provide freedom for others. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are sick in mind and body or in spirit, for those who are suffering in any way from the effects of the coronavirus. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for true justice in this world. We pray that all those who are vulnerable in any way due to their uh, whatever, whatever way that they may be considered vulnerable, especially we remember those in the womb, that they may be protected. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, help us to use our independence wisely, justly, compassionately, and help us to always remember that we are dependent on you and to always give you thanks. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers, to grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me away from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept, Lord, these gifts we bring to this altar, and having taught us through the wisdom of the gospel, lead us to true justice and lasting peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He spoke to us a message of peace and taught us to live as brothers and sisters. His message took form in the vision of the founding fathers as they fashioned a nation where we might live as one. His message lives on in our midst and as our task for today and a promise for tomorrow. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By showing us in this Eucharist, O Lord, a glimpse of the unity and joy of your people in heaven, deepen our unity and intensify our joy, that all who believe in you may work together to build this city of lasting peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. As I've asked us to do, my friends, let us pray a Hail Mary for all of those who will be ordained priests at the beginning of August for the Archdiocese of Boston. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. 
May God the Father, who has called us to be one human family, fill your hearts with deep longing for peace and harmony. Amen. May the Son of God, who came to share our life and make us children of the one Father, enable you to grow in wisdom and grace before God and the human family. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit, who is the bond of love between the Father and the Son, unite in love all here present. May he be the bond of love among you, our nation, and all peoples. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.